From the depths of an Antarctic glacier to the halls of the UN, a warning. Ice melt caused by climate change is a threat. Countries like Bangladesh, China, India, and the Netherlands are all at risk. Canada, as a northern hemisphere nation, actually receives a disproportional amount of its sea level rise from Antarctica. That's why this international team braved storms and harsh conditions, all to better understand how warming waters impact the vast Thwaites Glacier. This researcher piloted an underwater robot, sending it down a hole in the ice to get a close-up view of the glacier's underbelly. The robot traveled to what's called the grounding line, where the ocean, the ice, and the seafloor meet. The glacier here has retreated 14 kilometers since the 1990s. No one has ever explored this before. And so what we discovered under this ice is that there's lots of like staircase features um, they look kind of like long amphitheaters. You can see these little terraces forming, and you can see this little scalloped face of the ice that's all full of sediment, and there's particles just raining out of one particular spot. The data they gathered will help scientists better predict how warming waters will impact future water levels. Do we need a five-foot seawall or a 10-foot seawall, or do we need to move people out of coastal environments in places that are particularly susceptible, right? What else can we do as humans to make our planet livable for us? This thawing glacier already contributes about 4% of the global sea level rise. Research suggests even a small increase in the melt rate could drive rapid change. We tend to try and avoid the use of the term doomsday glacier because it tends to suggest that there's nothing left for us to do. And that's definitely not the case. Every fraction of a degree matters, and scientists say curbing greenhouse gas emissions will still help avoid the worst effects. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.